Hello, it's me again, coming to make a video about the Bible, because what else is there to talk about in the world? It's probably because I'm called to the thing, so I have to talk about it. So yeah, so this is my calling. So now, I want to talk to you about Nehemiah chapter 8, which is one of my favorite chapters in the Bible. It's right there in the middle. So Nehemiah chapter 8 is just about Ezra teaching the people, but there's a deep meaning there. You know what Ezra means? Ezra means helper. Jesus said, I will send you a helper, a comforter, and he will show you all truths. So Ezra is, is a type of the Holy Spirit, showing us all truth. And the, I'll just read the, some, some verses in the chapter to give you a context of what I'm talking about here. So it says, Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 1, And all the people gathered themselves to, this is deja vu, oh my, <laughs> anyway, and all the people, what's deja vu really, if we were to ask ourselves, is it like a memory? And all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the broad place that was before the water gates. So water represents teaching in Proverbs or something, yeah, Proverbs says, and the waters of the depth were broken up, and the knowledge broke up to the waters of the depth. So knowledge, water, yeah. And they spake unto Ezra the scribe to bring the book of the law of Moses, which Jehovah had commanded to Israel. I'm reading from the ASV, says Jehovah. Yeah, cool. And Ezra the priest brought the law from before, brought the law before the assembly, both men and women. And all that could hear with understanding upon the first day of the seventh months. And he read therein before the broad place that was before the water gate from the early morning till midday in the presence of the woman, of the men and the women, and of those that could understand and the ears of all the people were attentive unto the book of the law. So what's understanding? Understanding is Pauses, I pray that you will have the spirit of wisdom and revelation. If you don't have the spirit, you can't have the, the understanding. So, okay, so like, there's the spirit of the world which helps you understand and comprehend and receive the things of the world. Then there's the spirit of God which helps you understand and comprehend and receive the spirit of the things of God. So, okay, yeah, so this is the main thing. Okay, one of the main verses. Uh, verse 4 it says and Ezra the scribe stood upon a pulpit of wood which they had made for the purpose and beside him stood a number of people I'm not gonna uh, pronounce those names I can pronounce Zechariah Uriah Shema but the rest are like they're Hashbadana no 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 some names are just not for pronouncing unless you're a Jew so those guys are like what you would call the like a type of the overcomers according to revelations two to three people who okay jesus said i will give you the hidden manner and this hidden manner comes through the holy spirit so the holy spirit is in charge now let's i'll just go on to some other part where nehemiah comes in and they and they're grieved at all oh, we're supposed to have these booths it was tabernacles so this video is called tabernacles transformation transformational transformational tabernacle truths truths so it says in verse 17 and all the assembly of them that will come out that, that will come again out of the captivity <laughs> made I'm like the worst reader that you can ever. I'll just mess up the words. Anyway, <laughs> made booze and dwelt in the booze, but I'm so confident, eh? I can just. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'll be the guy that comes and makes a video. Anyway, for since the days of Jesh Joshua, so that's Joshua, which is the same as Yeshua, Jesus, the Son of Man, and to that day had not the children of Israel done so. And there was very great gladness. Okay, so what's a transformational 
um, stuff about this knowledge. So Paul says in Hebrews 6, this we will do if God permits. He's trying to move on from the elementary principles. Uh, so, and then, yeah, so this, and then he talks about the power of the ages to come. So why is he saying the knowledge, then power? Knowledge and power. Because with knowledge comes power. Knowledge is power. Knowledge has a transformational attribute to it. In a way. Okay, revelational knowledge. Not just knowledge plain. Knowledge with understanding, with the spirit of knowledge, with the, okay, with all those things. It has a transformational thing. Now, Joshua was the most powerful person in the whole Bible. Should I put that to you? Okay, except maybe Jesus. This guy stopped the sun with, with, with the words of his mouth. He said, sun, stop, stop there. He commanded the sun as if he was God. And, and it said that um, never had God, <laughs> it said never had God obeyed a man as he obeyed Joshua. So that's a Melchizedek power ruling in the midst of your enemies. That, that's, that's the power that's coming in. The transformative knowledge that will bring the power. Okay, so, but it's also going to bring division among those. Okay, between those that understand, have a spirit of understanding, and those that do not have a spirit of understanding. That's why Paul said in Hebrews 6 for the water that falls upon the, the ground, if it falls on thistles. So he's referring to Jesus' parable where Jesus talked about the hard ground. It's the soft ground, the 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 ground is uh, the, the stony places, and the ones where the birds of the air came and took it, took the seed away. Now he's saying, among you Christians, there are only few that have good ground, watered ground, watered, meaning you have a good heart that you're loving. Okay, that you're meant. <laughs> Yeah, it's just that you're obeying the commands, that you built your house upon the rock. And you don't, you don't have the cares of this life. And the riches and the cares of this life are not choking the seed. So, that is, my friends, the transformational power. How was Enoch caught up? How was Elijah caught up? So, yeah. That is all I have for you today. Thank you for listening.